Have you ever wondered how easy it is to install Mass? Or maybe you've thought it's quite hard to install Mass. Actually, it's really simple, and what I'm going to do today is show you exactly how to do it just by following our really simple tutorial. So the first thing you do is jump over to the tutorials page on Maz.io. Go into the build a Maz and Lexi environment in 30 minutes with Multipass on Ubuntu. Read through all this lovely text. Understand that we're building a virtual environment using Multipass. And then go to the next page. Check out the requirements. This is important. You'll need an Ubuntu desktop 18.04 or higher or Windows with Hyper-V support. You'll need about 16 gigs of RAM, a quad-core CPU with virtualization support, and around 30 gigabytes of free disk space. Now all we do is we install Multipass, if you don't already have it. So we'll just copy and paste this command. We already have it installed on this machine. And you can launch a, an instance just to check that it's working. I won't do that now. And then when you're finished, you delete the instance. That's just checking that Multipass and everything is working fine. On the next page, you're going to check that virtualization is working OK. So you install CPU Checker and you run KVM OK. And you should see that KVM acceleration can be used. Now we get to the very interesting part. So this is a long command, but it's very simple. We're going to download a CloudInit file, which is hosted in a canonical repo called Maz Multipass. We're going to pass it to Multipass. And we're going to give a name a number of CPU cores, some memory, disk space. Then we're going to launch Maz. Just copy and paste again. Hit enter. And now Maz is launching with Multipass. First, it's going to create a virtual machine, and then it's going to install Maz inside. And if you're very uh, interested in the details, you can actually take a look at this YAML file, which you can download yourself or check out the repo. And at about this time, you can go and grab a quick coffee if you like, but it should only take a couple of minutes. Great, so Mass has finished uh, setting itself up now. So if we run multipass list, we'll see here, Mass is running. We can see an IP address. Now let's just go back to the tutorial quickly. Yeah, you see it told us to run multipass list, and we saw something very similar to what we just saw here. We saw two IP addresses and we need to grab the IP address or copy the IP address that is not 10.10.10.1. So let's go back and take this one and just copy that. And that is Maz IP. So we're ready to try Maz actually. So go to the next screen in the tutorial and you see it's telling us to browse to that Maz IP on port 5240 slash Maz. So let's try that. And actually you can just hit enter here. And here it is, and we can log in with admin, admin, which the tutorial also tells us to do. Click login. And now you see here this boot image import process not started. Just ignore that. Maz is actually fixing that in the background. So you can click the cross here and you can give a name if you like. There's a DNS folder pre-configured here. You can just leave it as it is and you can click save and continue. Here you can select which types of images you want Maz to download and keep synchronized. As you can see, it's already synchronized 2004 LTS just by saying this synced status. And we can click continue. We see Maz has been successfully set up. So we can just say finish setup. Now it comes to ask us for SSH keys. And this is very important because this is actually going to allow us to put SSH keys on every machine that we set up. But We've actually already done that for you in the script that's set up as, so we can just click skip user setup here. And then again, skip user setup, and voila, here we are in Maz. Now let's check out what the next step was. Verify and explore your Maz and LexD installation. So we can go and actually click here in KVM tab. And here you can see that Maz, or this machine has been configured as a LexD host. And that means that we're actually able to create machines inside our virtual machine. We can click on the controllers tab as well and just see that here is Maz, our region and rack controller. We can see the version, we can see it's up to date. We can see the last time images were synchronized. We can click on the images tab and here we can see the images that we saw before that they are synced 2004. And if you wanted to add more images, you can do that. Right, time to create a machine. So now we just go back to the KVM tab. We click here on just deer in my case. 
and we can add a virtual machine. Just click add virtual machine, give it a name, test machine, give it say, for example, four gigabytes of memory and give it four cores. Just leave the disk size storage configuration at eight if you want and click compose machine. And what this is doing is actually creating a, a virtual machine with LexD and now Maz is gonna start commissioning that machine. If we click back on the machines tab, we can see the new machine is here, testmachine.maz. It's powered on and it's commissioning. And commissioning means that Maz is going to discover everything about this machine, what type of CPU it has, how much disk space it has, and any other kind of hardware that's in that machine. Now, normally that would be with physical machines, but in this case, it's a LexD virtual machine. So we'll just give it a minute while it works through this. We can click on the machine, take a look. So we can click here we can see more details about the machine, including networking, storage, memory, etc. We can actually click here on the commissioning tab and we can see the state of commissioning. So right now, there's an operating system being installed on this machine over the network, over the virtual network inside this multipass. And that temporary operating system is gonna run all of these tests so that Maz can discover, or all these scripts, so that Maz can discover what it needs to about the machine. And we'll actually see this in real time, live updating as it, as it uh, discovers things. When it's finished commissioning, it will start testing. And when it's finished with that, and in this case it does it uh, anyway, it's, it's finished, it moves into a ready state. And if we look at the tutorial, it says the machine will move into a ready state and can be viewed from the machines tab. So we can actually go back here, go back to machines, take a look and you can see the machine is now ready and it's turned off. And if we want to install Ubuntu to this machine now, then all we need to do is tick the machine, click on take action and click deploy. And we're taken to the deploy screen and we can customize some things. We can add some cloud init user data if we want here, which for example, could do anything you like after it's deployed. And then you click start deployment for machine like this, and now it will power on the machine and it will do a network boot. And this time around, it's actually going to install Ubuntu onto the machine. We can see the status here is saying deploying. And you can just click around the interface while you're waiting and see what's happening. So in the logs, we can actually see the node was powered on and we'll see more logs coming as it gets deployed. This will take a few minutes. Great, so now the machine is actually deployed we can actually log into it. So the first thing we do is just take note of the IP address, grab it like that, go back to our terminal. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to jump into the multipass machine with multipass shell mass. Now we're inside the virtual machine. We can actually try to ping the one that we just created with mass. And here you can see we're pinging it. And we can even SSH into it. And here you can see that we're inside Ubuntu test machine. And from here, we can even try to do something by pinging Google. And that's actually the end of the tutorial. So you've created a mass machine inside a multipass VM, and then you've used mass to control XD to create a new virtual machine inside multipass. And then you've used mass to install Ubuntu onto that virtual machine Pretty cool, right? If you want to clean up, then all you need to do is run multipass delete dash dash purge maz like this from your main machine. And that will clean everything up for you. And you can start again if you like. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this today. And I hope you've seen just how easy it is to get maz up and running.